what is going on guys um this is 99 plus development right here and for today i'll be uh, teaching you guys how to transition between view controllers um through the use of codes so um you don't have to click and drag a button or whatever you, the stuff you do in your graphical user interface so um this is going to be a swift tutorial um on xcode 6 so um again um i'll be i'm going to be using swift 1.2 so there could be um syntax changes or adjustments that you have to do on your own but if you don't know how to do them just um let me know in the comments below and i'll be glad to um help you guys so without further ado let's get going all right first of all um let's load up xcode create a new actual project it's gonna be a single view application i'm going to name it um transition tip tut right organization name whatever you want organization and identifier most likely a website or a domain name in reverse but this is i don't really have a website yet so i'm just keeping it as it is the language is going to be set to swift and devices is going to be an iphone we're not going to be using core data so untick this and click on next right you can create it wherever you want i'm just going to create it in my documents uh, folder okay so this shows the general information of about your application but um, for now we're not going to be using that um, so what I want you to do is head over to the main.storyboard where we can edit the graphical user interface of our app so we want to head off to the attributes inspector and set the size of the screen to iPhone 4.7 inch which is the screen size of the iPhone 6 right for now we need two view controllers for navigation so we want to get the second view controller just click and drag it I'm going to double click and I'm um, just move this a bit right here and I'm going to change the size of uh, the screen of this view controller to iPhone 4.7 as well right so what, what I want to do right now is because we have created another view controller we have to create another swift file so to do that click on file new file and select swift file click next um, it doesn't really matter if it if you click on iOS or OS X it's just an empty swift file so don't worry about that click create All right so here basically um what we want to do is to we want to import the ui kit um given to us by apple so we can set or identify our view controller i'm gonna double click on the enter button and right um type down class we want to set the name to um Oh, I, I didn't set um, a view controller name, but I'll just keep it as file for now. So I want to set the class to file, and the super class will be UI view controller. Um, the properties and methods, I'm just going to um, input the default ones that we always get when um, on a view controller, like the view that did load, view that appear. Um, did receive memory warnings so for now I'm just gonna set view did load super view did load and over here I'm gonna say view did appear super view did appear and it's going to be animated right so when we're done with that we want to save this file by um, hitting the command plus s um, keys or you can click on file and then go to save you can see the command right here just 
for um, future purposes. Um, what we want to do now is go back to the main storyboard, click on the view controller at the top right here, go to the um, identity inspector, and we want to set the class to file like that. So yeah, okay, so this is um, set. What we want to do now is um, set a storyboard ID for each of these um, view controllers. So this one is going to be first VC, and this one is going to be second VC. Like you can you can set it uh, name it to wherever you fancy, but I'm just going to name it like that as uh, for the simplicity of um, this tutorial. Okay. So now that we're done with the um, with this, we're not actually done with the graphic user interface because we have to implement buttons inside our view controller. So we just click and drag a button, make it nice and wide, um, center align it, and I'm going to name this go to second view controller. I'm gonna do the same on our second view controller keep it like that nice and wide Oops. and I'm going to name this go to first view controller right so after we've done those want to click on your uh, first view controller hit on the assistant editor tab click um, com uh, click on your button and then hit command and drag into your um, view controller code. So we, we want to set this, we want to set the connection to action, we want to set the name to go to second, go to second VC, you can name it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter, I'm just naming this for the simplicity of the tutorial. The event is always touch up inside. Uh, the argument is sender and click on connect. We want to do the same for this. Click on the, the button on the second view controller and I'm okay guys, sorry about that. I'm back now. I just had to do something. So yeah, okay, so click on your button. Um, on the second view controller and we want to do the same thing that we have done on our first view controller so that is um, control and drag into your um, uh, view controller uh, code so I want to change the connection to action and I'm just gonna name it go to first view can first VC Right, touch up inside uh, arguments to send and click connect. Okay, so we're done uh, with the use of our graphical user interface. Now, what we want to do is I hit on the first view controller and we want to set in, um, we want to code what this, what our button is going to be doing. So, what I'm going to do is let second VC let second VC equals to self dot storyboard dot um instantiate instantiate view controller with identifier and that identifier is going to be the storyboard ID that we have set in the beginning of this video so that's going to be second VC we're gonna set it as uh, the name of the UI view control, the name of the second view, uh, UI view controller, which is as file. This one. What we want to do now is we're gonna say self uh, present. We want to present this view controller, so we're setting a void, which is present view controller, and this is going to um, be second vc the one that we have just created right here animation is going or animated is going to be true and completion is nil okay that way it's done the code is ready it's only a two line code simple code 
what we want to do is save this so command s we want to go back to our second view controller and do the same thing i'm going to say self oops um let first vc equals to self dot storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier first vc as what's it called as view controller and then i'm going to say self dot present view controller first vc animated is true completion is no that's it guys um we're basically done with the code there's nothing left to do um other than run it and see if it works so just click on the play button up there top left corner and let's um let's see if it works so if i click on go to second view controller it takes me to the second view controller if I click on good first there we go I'm just gonna change the color to show you um of the background just to make it more, look more effective oh, that's disgusting but all right yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it as this color all right so go to second view controller takes us here the first view controller takes us back so Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, I'm using um, Swift 1.2, the updated version of it, and on Xcode 6. So if you have any problems with the syntax, just let me know and I can fix it for you guys. And again, also, um, this is my first YouTube video for 99 plus development. So hopefully you comment, comment like, subscribe, and let me know if you want more content of that let me know which type of tutorials you want to learn or um if you want to make a certain app just um let me know and i'll help you guys um towards it so again thank you guys for watching and have a nice day